Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com YouTube channel and today we will disassemble Realme C30. The assembly is easy or one gear in our difficulty classification and we will remove the back cover, the cover on the latches or clips but the first of all we take out the card tray. So buckle up. We have this dental tool, put it in the hole and take out the tray for two SIM cards and memory card. We put it to the side. So we use the magnetic dish, the metal tool, but we probably won't use it, a Philips 1.5 mm screwdriver, Yaksun, I think it's pronounced Yasin in Chinese, tweezers and the plastic tool that we will use to open the back cover. We put the tool in the hole and gently slide it along the edge of the cover disconnecting the clips. Be careful where the side buttons are located, you can easily damage them. In general, this is easily done with the fingernails, but for aesthetic reasons we do it with a, this tool. And so we open it the back cover. On the back cover we have contact pads for antennas. And that is it. Remove the back cover. Moving on to the top. We need to disconnect the battery connector. And to do that we need to unscrew the screws. It is hard to tell if all the screws are the same or not. We are going to unscrew them and place them in the magnetic dish in the order in which we are going to unscrew them. This is what it looks like. People who have been disassembled device for a long time, they say you can disassemble them this way or that way. I think that the main thing for us is common sense. Everyone disassembles as he likes. You will do the repair as you like. And common sense, I mean, do not go where you do not need metal tools and so on. Now we need to detach the cover. It will be convenient to use the tweezers, but since we have not yet disconnected the battery connector, we will do it with a plastic tool. We detach the clips and that is it. Remove the cover. This cover protects the circuit board and there is nothing on it. Disconnect the battery connector. You can theoretically disconnect with a metal tool because there is a platform around the connector. But when we do it for first time or as I am telling you the best way, it is better to avoid metal tools not to make a short circuit.
Moving on to unscrewing the screws on the bottom. The screws in the top were all the same. I don't see any warranty stickers, so maybe the smartphone was disassembled before us. Yes, we will detach the battery, but we will not remove the display, because we are not allowed to do that by the person who provides the device. We always get device under certain conditions. We are often written to us to do this or that, and we would love to do that, but unfortunately we always have disassembly restrictions. Right now we can use tweezers to detach the cover, since we have already disconnected the battery connector. There is a contact pad on the cover that leads from the speaker to the subboard. Let's continue with the plastic tool. Here we have the speaker, here we have the vibration motor. Disconnect the connector of the interboard cable and the connector of the coaxial cable. Typical assembly, no more connectors here. I see we have a headphone jack built into the subboard, a microphone and a charging port. Now we need to detach the subboard. It is recessed into the frame and secured with a clips and can be slightly glued. Somewhat easily we remove the subboard. As I said before, this is the microphone. How do we identify the microphone? We flip the board to the other side and see if there is a hole. We can also see that we have a hole for the microphone in the frame. If we put the something in here, I will show you an example. If we put something in here, and actually there is a net, in general we will pierce the microphone net. The tool will go like this, and the microphone is perpendicular and there is a hole here and that means we won't damage anything. The speaker we are not going to pry the speaker off, but I want to show you that there is a place in every assembly where we can hook the speaker by the very bottom and carefully unstick it. If we pick it up in the middle, we could break the speaker in half. The vibration motor has the same story, but there is also the possibility of damaging the contact pad. 
Now we go to the motherboard and we have to disconnect the connectors. Let's try to disconnect the connectors and remove the camera. The main camera has a passive head sync covering. Let's disconnect the front camera. It too is covered with a copper passive head transfer film. We don't take the lens and carefully detach it. We disconnect the display model connector and the interboard cable connector now we can try to remove the printed circuit board. It is best to pick it up with tweezers and gently... And we forgot to disconnect the coaxial cable connector. Disconnect the connector and detach the cable from the retaining hooks. Now detach the circuit board. So the motherboard has disconnected. On the back side, we have thermal paste, probably around the processor. On the motherboard we have the microchips under the shields and the cards connector on this side. Here we also pick up the speaker at the bottom and gently pry it off. And yes, look here we have just that common disassembly mistake. Somebody pick it up the middle and cracked the RP speaker. Now it's dangerous to separate it at all, someone has damaged it. I would probably use some kind of uh, thin tool like that, but we can clearly see the mechanical damage. Anyway, we can detach the battery. The white or transparent film is the cable protection under the battery and the green tag we are pulling on it. Pulling, pulling, the battery isn't really glued on. Under the battery is the protecting covering, there is an interboard cable. So, what we have left in the frame of the display model? The RP speaker, the cable to the display model, and this is most likely a branch to the interboard cable. 
on this side are the side buttons, the vibration motor, loudspeaker and the coaxial cable. And so guys, this is the end, thank you for watching, don't forget about our website that is already published a text version of our disassembly. See you in the next video! Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.